even when in the deepest distress. The actor ultimately cannot cease to think of the impression he and the whole scenic effect is making, even, for example, at the burial of his own child. He will weep over his own distress and the ways in which it expresses itself as his own audience. The hypocrite, who always plays one and the same role, finally ceases to be a hypocrite. For example, priests, who as young men are usually conscious or unconscious hypocrites, finally become natural and then really are priests without any affectation. Or, if the father fails to get that far, then perhaps the son does so, employing his father's start and inheriting his habits. If someone obstinately and for a long time wants to appear something, it is in the end hard for him to be anything else. The profession of almost every man, even that of the artist, begins with hypocrisy, with an imitation from without, with a copying of what is most effective. He who is always wearing a mask of a friendly countenance must finally acquire a power over benevolent moods, without which the impression of friendliness cannot be obtained. And finally, these acquire power over him. He is benevolent.